Well, good morning. I would like to do a quick garden update. There's a lot of beautiful things happening in the garden. And I think it's worth um, documenting all the changes over the last just couple of weeks that we've had. Um, we can even start right here. I bought this um, beautiful Silver Falls. And I think I'm never a fan of those pots because I feel like they just don't hold enough water. It's just the nursery pot that it came in. But it's doing all right as long as we water it every day. Definitely having some like dieback in the um, green stock over here. I replaced some of it with some of the sweet potato slips that I had. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's it's just not looking that good. I mean, the alyssum is amazing. It's been a nice, cool um, summer. So that's I wonder if that's why the alyssum is uh, doing so well. Uh, the patio tomatoes are doing amazing. You know, I really wished that the plants had gotten bigger. I just don't know what's going on this summer. I don't know if it's the cool weather that made them not grow so crazy. But when you get down in here and you look, there are a ton of very large fruit that are coming on. Um, this one's my mortgage lifter. So um, I'll be documenting how many how many tomatoes I get off of it and weighing them so that I can get a weight off of them. But, and the same over here for the um, Berry's Crazy Cherries on the patio. I always, it's so silly, but I count how many fruit I get off of it. You can see there's some ripe fruit that probably needs to be picked in the next day or so, but just a lot of blight. The plant isn't very tall. Usually they go up over these um, but they're not doing that this year. That's all right, though. Here's the um, shrimp plant. Certainly fertilizing is making a huge difference. So I started giving this stuff some bloom booster. And it's definitely coming in with, um, you know, just looking so much better. So, so that's great. Here's a, a view from the patio of the main garden. And all of the beautiful things. We'll walk over to the corn and into the vegetable garden, but it's kind of cool to see the height of the sunflower over there and um, the naughty dog barking at the door. Moving over here into the vegetable garden. I mean, it's a jungle over here. Um, and we have definitely some, um, you know, some wins and some losses, but I suppose that's normal. As far as the trumpet vine goes, that thing is really, really happy this year. I went and picked off all of the pods that were weighing it down, and I got an entire bucket of them. I know that's never happened. I've had, you know, 10, a handful of them, but I've never had that many. So this plant is really, really happy. Um, here's the, the beautiful, I think this is like a cardinal flower, maybe a blue cardinal flower. I don't know. It's a perennial. It comes back every year. It kind of reseeds itself all over the garden. I was kind of hoping that this would do better. Like some of the plants at the bottom have died. Um, but that could just be our wacky weather this summer too. This is as contrast from last time. If I can find some video, I'll put it in here and overlap it. But um, these look real sad by the end of the summer. That's the only thing that I don't like about some perennials is that, you know, once they're done flowering, they kind of die back and just leave it looking sort of like that. Coming over here, we've got the carrots are definitely growing in. Um, I've gotten a bunch of eggplants. Um, I need to pick some of this basil. I think I'm going to freeze dry basil, um, which is a very quick process. I don't know why I'm delaying on it. Um, and then over here, the beans are finally coming up on the trellis. They have these beautiful flowers that the hummingbirds and bees love. And you can see some of the giant beans that are starting to form on them. So that's, that's cool to see some of that happening. Stepping over here. Um, sunflowers are really... This one is... <laughs> probably the smaller one which is I don't know that stake with it is six feet tall so it's a seven foot sunflower same for this one's a little taller and then this is the giant one that is well over 
well, the fence is six feet tall, so it's what, maybe 10 feet, might be four feet over it. Um, and it's starting to grow a head on it. If we get up over here, you can kind of see that there's a head forming. Hopefully it will be the giant head. It's supposed to be a mammoth sunflower, so um, that's really fun. You can just see the tomatoes just aren't doing very well. I mean, they're growing and they're getting some tomatoes, but it's not the jungle that it used to be. Over here, we're getting some peppers. Um, the zucchini kind of took over the peppers for a little bit, so I had to cut back the zucchini. You can see it's still kind of doing it here. Um, so these leaves need to be cut back so that the peppers get their get their space. Um, I don't see any zucchinis in there today, but I did miss some and ended up with some giant baby-sized zucchinis. These cucumbers and tomatoes and peppers over here are doing amazing. Um, you can see the, the craziness. There's even some more basil down in here that I need to take care of, pick the flowers off of. One of the things that we did was got a new live trap and it does look like it's set off in here. So we'll come in here and see if we actually caught it. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a rabbit. We got ourselves a full-sized rabbit too. That's not even a baby. Oh, that's exciting. Well, that was a lovely little distraction. So the bunny has been dropped off at the park. We can move on. Um, I wanted to show the corn um, and how super tall it is. It's starting to tassel like a couple of them on this one, or maybe just one on this one. And it looks like one on that one is starting to tassel. Um, I don't see any silks coming out yet, but it should just be a matter of time before we start to see some. This one is actually starting to look chubby and I think that's a good sign um so yeah hopefully we'll get some some little popcorns seems like it's getting late oh I just walked through a big spider web seems like it's getting a little late but that's okay too um this one was one that I just transplanted which is kind of funny that it is sort of growing there just some pretty views of the garden um well, it's not perfect. It is, uh, it is jungly and pretty. The castor beans aren't as big as they were last year. Um, but that could be the type. Um, these ones are red and the red ones last year didn't get as big as the other variety. And I don't remember what it is. I am probably going to look for that this year and, um, maybe next year I'll grow, I'll grow the other variety just for fun. Taking a look back here, um, the elephant ears, they just shine in August, right? That's when they get their giant leaves on them. They finally come in. This one having some problems with the squirrels climbing it, but you can see the one behind it is beautiful. The giant hosta is beautiful. This giant hosta is also beautiful. Probably gonna take out some of that grass for next year. I know that I've shown this plant on the tours before. I just love it. It's giant. It took over that enormous pot and it has these beautiful vibrant purple flowers. I just love it. Looks like the quina back there is really finally starting to take off. I wish it would have taken off sooner um, but that's okay. Another pot that is just beautiful is this one. I think I've shown it before. It just blooms without problems. I need to really mark that down, what type of flower that is, so that I buy another one next year, because if they're going to grow that well, that's exciting. The beans, I've been getting a ton of beans off of them. They're starting to look pretty ratty, um, but the cucumbers on the trellis are starting to grow too, so... 
we have some the volunteer bean that came in here is a dragon tongue bean i think where is it there it is so pretty i love those beans just kind of showing some of this stuff back here these begonias always do so well they're so beautiful the bee balm took over this garden that's fine and then um just getting a ton of kooka melons right now and um, you can see how beautiful this is it's interesting that we're having some cooler weather so i think they'll slow down a little bit but here's a there's a little kooka melon in there so yummy look at them all so many of them and then this garden is just looking beautiful um again i'm not super pumped about the way that this stuff in here turned out if you get up close it doesn't look that great but it's still beautiful um the elephant ears the castor beans back here just big and pretty you can see we have some kind of weird thing happening these are not our lilacs but everybody's lilacs in the neighborhood are doing the same that they're just yucky and they're dying back they're like um they've got some kind of like fungus or blight or something but look at I don't know if it's oh yeah it'll show up on the video our hops escaped um across the fence and they grow in those lilacs and they are beautiful over there there are a ton of hop flowers so that's always fun to see last over here I do you have a volunteer tomato that I really would like to see what kind of tomato it is but I don't think I'm ever going to get any fruit set on it so that volunteer, that uh, experiment was probably a bust. I mean, it's the middle of August, so probably not gonna see anything. <laughs> Same with my sad little watermelons. I do have some watermelons that are growing, but I mean, that has been that size for like a week. So it needs to grow a lot faster than that if I'm gonna eat any watermelon this year. But it's still been a cute experiment climbing up the fence. I, I'm guessing that if we had given it um, the the climbing a little earlier that it would have done better so I might still grow a watermelon here next year and see if it works oh my gosh I was just attacked by a bug it was a lacewing though and they are beneficial so I'm not gonna be mad about it um, I will say that Bill found a piece of aluminum that my mom had given us from work and so we put that behind her sign and hung it back here I was kind of thinking of something more ornate, but it couldn't be more perfect to have the sign um, just just be this and, and be what it is. So it turned out great. Um, the mint back here is really starting to, to grow um, and look beautiful. This coleus is gorgeous. Just really. The one last thing um, is I have started to use my butterfly house again, which it's always funny that I call it a butterfly house, but it's really a caterpillar house. I get the doors open. And when we come in here, you can see that we have some caterpillars in here right now. The sky is busy eating. There's another one up over there. Oh, there's a really little tiny one. Let's see if I can get him to come into focus. Oh, look at him. He's so little and cute. I think right now I have six of them. These are the smaller ones, smaller caterpillars. So that's, I usually try to keep them separate. Oh, look at, there's another little one up in there. Um, and then I do the bigger ones separate just to try and keep, the big ones will sometimes bite the little ones. I mean, they don't, they don't mean to, but... Um, so there's a bigger one there. There's two of them, but I don't see the other one right now. Oh my gosh. I caught him just in time. He's going up to make his chrysalis. Oh, that's great. Kind of our last thing to show here is that we Put more of this edging we've got almost the entire garden edged with this new edging that we are loving so much so it looks really nice here it's interesting i cut the lilies down because they were kind of dying back they they do that sometimes at the end of the season but i don't hate it without them there i kind of like the lower the lower garden here i don't know if i'll take those lilies out or 
if I'll leave them in. Here's some cinnamon basil that I need to harvest, um, but it's really help, happy and healthy. So. I think that's about it for the garden update for um, the middle of August, but I will uh, keep keep updating things as they come. So happy gardening and thank you for watching.